well, it's life out on the beat. It can be tough, you know. It's not a job anybody wants to do. Would I call myself a hero? Probably. It's not like the city pays me for this or anything. Look, got two doll draggers right here hiding behind this wall, trying to sneak into our great city. See, that's the thing that drives me crazy. Oh, he's got me. He's got me. Our... It's... Oh, he's using the meme weapons. I don't know where... Somebody keeps giving these guys meme weapons. I don't know. Alright, but, you know, here's the thing. Uh, we come out here, we patrol these streets, we try and make sure that everybody's got their proper permits to enter. You know, it's not like we're trying to keep people out. You know, it's nothing like that. Uh, it's just, you know, we want you to enter it properly. And these guys, they come in through the water, they come in through the tunnels, they come in through the bridges. Uh, and you can see they're pretty bad hombres. They've got their, uh, they've got their meme weapons, their lightning sticks. It's all pretty crazy. Uh, you know, but this is, uh, this is the thankless job I, I chose. You know what I mean? And, and the fact that it comes with really fantastic health insurance and, and, and benefits and vacation time and... Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's no reason not to call me a hero. Now, if I could get these guys up here just a little bit, I could get them, uh, involved with some of the, uh, regular enemies in the area here. Uh, and they're, they're pretty good fellas. Uh, little private security group we have roaming the street with, uh, they, they've got some less than reputable, uh, dealings, uh, with some former crackheads. Here, I'm gonna show them that the long arm of the law is capable of, uh, you know, playing hide-and-seek just as well as these guys are. And he's coming at me with the, the meme sword that he found. Uh, you can see he's just spinning and twirling. He's having a really good time. He's having a lot of fun. But we're not here for fun, so here we go. Now we've got everybody involved here. There's, they're, they, these, these kids here, they're, they used to be drug addicts, but, you know, they've, they've been turned around. Pay no attention to the fact that they're still anorexic and their hair is on fire, uh, really. That's that has nothing to do with anything. Um, our city is a great and beloved place, and if you don't ask me, you can just ask our local pontiff Sullivan. There you see the meme trick, Perry. Uh, we're able to put that one down, and uh, our border is safe. We've kept the border safe. So we call them doll draggers because they they find these dolls, and the dolls tell them to come here, but they're not invited. They're not invited. You can tell these aren't the kind of people you want hanging out in your city. Look at this freak. Look at this Look at this whitehead freak. You're telling me you'd want to see him in your city? He's trying to make his way to our church. Uh, a lot of them are really religious. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd think they would fit right in, but they don't because uh, we don't want their kind here. Now here, there's two of them, uh, which, you know, they, they, they typically do. They, they travel in packs. Excuse me, sir, do you have your visa? Your work visa? See, they don't have jobs. They don't They do not do anything. They just come here, they mooch off of us. These doll draggers, man, I'm telling you. Switching here to my katana here so I can chase this fella down. This freak, he's trying to run back to the other church. Like I said, they're very religious. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can keep him from getting in there. Uh, oh. There we go. Try and back him up just a little bit. Now, he's smart enough not to go towards the center of town uh, where, where we have our private security guards. Oh! Still alive. Our private security guards keep a pretty tight ship, uh, if you ask me. Pretty good, pretty good gig they got there. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as fun. We, we're, we're the real action here, the ones that protect the city and make sure that... See, we built this beautiful wall made of magic, and we put a big scary dog in front of it, but for some reason that's they, they just don't take the hint that we don't want them here. Uh, they come here, they look to take our jobs, uh, and, and we just, you know, the citizens get concerned, and that's when they call us, and uh, you know we come out and we, we dispense justice, uh, kick them back over, back across the border where they came from, right where they came from. Now, is it is it a race-related thing? You know, I hear that in the media a lot. They talk about that in the media a lot. It's not. There's no there's no racial motivations. Look at this one. He's just taking off running. There's our former drug addict children. We went ahead and handed them sharp sharp weapons uh, and lit their heads on fire. Nothing could go wrong. Uh, here we go. Now see that guy right there, that big tall uh, 
Shaquille O'Neal looking motherfucker breathing fire all over the place. Uh, he's uh, he's one of the, the security guards. He's one of the private securities that uh, Pontiff Sullivan has so wisely decided to employ here. It's like Mecca for these people, but but what they don't understand is we don't we don't want them here. Using uh, my katana here, really just giving him hell. Uh, this is his choice of weapon, and a lot of them are like this, these little uh, weeaboo type kids. And really, this is the only thing that they respect. Good eye, Fire Witch. Good eye, Fire Witch. Here comes another one. Now, sometimes you'll find... Now, this right here, this is our, our big boy brigade. Uh, these guys, we deploy these guys out when we find, you know, some of these uh, foreigners, some of these... Immigrants, uh, uh, undocumented citizens. That's what they'd have us call them. Uh, but that's not what they are. Look at that try hard. Look, he's just trying so hard. Anyway, we're, we're here to, to make sure that, that, that they get across the border, you know, uh, safe and, and, and legally. And if they, if they don't, then uh, it's my job to launch them into space. I'm the leader of the uh, big boy space program. Uh, I, I'm not... I'm not, you know, an intelligence build, but I could work for NASA. And I say that just based off how well I'm able to launch a motherfucker into the air. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little police humor. <laughs> now, uh, right here at the Pontus back door you know he doesn't like anybody coming in his back door so that's when we send out the big guns this is uh this is part of the big boy unit he's using the chaos as y-hander uh, become the meme so you can see here he's got some pretty nasty guys he's going up against here but he's able to uh, hold his own uh, he's got one uh, pontiff security guard here that that'll work with him uh, he's going to go ahead and eat that blossom, that moss right there, so that he doesn't bleed out from that miracle. See, like I said, they're a pretty religious bunch, but, uh, you know, that's, that's not the kind of religion we, we want around here. So this one here, you can see, he's just, uh, he switched to a much faster weapon. And he's giving us little taunts there with his, with his shield. So we'll switch to a little bit of a faster weapon ourselves. Got that, uh, Chaos-infused Authric Knight Sword. And, uh, well, that'll, that'll be enough of that. And look, he's summoning another one. That's the thing. Just as soon as they hop that border, man, they're calling their friends over. It's just a never. It's like they're like they're like mice. They're like animals. They're like cockroaches. You know, people say that calling them animals dehumanizes them, and it it makes them uh, you know feel less than human, and they think that that's you know that it's a race thing. But I assure you, it's it's really not. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're subhumans. And you can see they come from every direction. Here they found, uh, this is the, the quarters, look at this. They found the, the children's quarters uh, where, we, where we let them sleep uh, off during their, their horrible crack changes. Some of them are so badly addicted to crack they can't even stand up. Uh, and this is where we send them to just, you know, kind of sleep it off a little bit. This fella here, uh, we've, we've killed his, uh, his his partner now it's you know just a matter of chasing him down and uh, really just delivering justice unto him um, now you can see he look at this he's killed our dogs he's killed our crackhead baby private security guards this is this and our dogs are half human so you know that's not weird of us it's weird of him it's weird for him that makes the crime more serious because it's a human involved and, you know, I can hear what you're saying. Well, maybe you shouldn't make dog babies. But, uh, where, where were you, huh? Did you fight in the war? Well, then shut your mouth. And if you don't like it, you can get out. And you can go back where these people come from. Not Irithyll. No, sir, no way. Not for us. Now, here he, we see he's using two swords, which is usually better than one. But uh, we're going to beat his brains in mercilessly good lord somebody hide that video somebody hide that video before the lawyers get a hold of that he just fucking killed that man good god almighty 
I owe him a beer. You can that's right that right there. That's what he's using. That's black market. That came from the meme market. That's a chaos Zweihander. That's dangerous. Now see right here, look at him trying to cross the border. And we've got our little dog. You can see our dog. He's trying to trying to keep him in. He's just not able to do it. Now these right here, see the one, he's he's much he's much higher level than than, than his friend. You know. The, those are coyotes, uh, what is what we call them. And again, calling them animal names doesn't make them any less human. Uh, the the fact that they're subhuman filth. Look at him using a seat of the tree giants when there's no enemies anywhere near. That's you can tell they're really intelligent. Uh, actually, you know they're probably smarter than, than some of us. Uh, but you know we we can't. I, I'm not looking for someone to take my job. Okay, uh, I, I I like my job. I like my pension. I like my insurance. I like my benefits. I like my paid holidays. Uh, I like my paycheck. I like my badge. I like girls uh, want to touch me on my penis uh, because I'm a hero and if you don't ask me uh, you can ask uh, all the all the girls who have done all the things that I just said <laughs> he's got a really big shield right there and uh, what that is that's, that's that's keeping there's actually a lot of migrant babies uh, on the other side of that shield and um, that's what they used to carry him in. And you can see he's just using it to, to protect himself uh, from from the power of this, uh, you know, black market weapon here. And, and yeah, you might say that, you know, we're, we're, we're a little too tough on him. We're using uh, extraordinary measures. Uh, and maybe you're right, but, you know, this, this, this war on the border, uh, it calls for extraordinary measures. Uh, I, just the other day we found some of them hiding in an attic. You know, hiding in an attic. Can you imagine? But it's all right. We smoked them out, and, uh, and, and that problem. We sent them back across the border. They're happy with their families where they belong. And we're going to send these people uh, back to their families where they belong. We're going to skip ahead just a little bit here. I'm trying to smoke them out with my uh, bow and arrow here. But they, they managed to get a hold of some of those meme weapons I was talking about. You can see right there. Uh, and they'll get you stun locked for infinity. Because Miyazaki's the master of all the brains. Good job. I'm not, I, I, you know, I don't know if he had anything to do with that or not. And that's more of a meta discussion that I really don't feel comfortable having. And the way I see it. If, uh, if the Pontiff Sullivan had wanted me to have an opinion on Miyazaki, he, he would have issued me one. Uh, but I, I remembered I had a, a divine blessing, so I'm able to use that. And that, that's out of my personal stash there, so you can tell I'm taking this personal. Uh, here he goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh here he goes with the memes again. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Let's see what we can... Let's just see if we can just launch his ass into the air. There he goes, like a bottle rocket. Like a bottle rocket. Jason down here got the got the straight sword out. Try and hit him with a lightning can. Thunder can. He didn't want anything to do with that. Now here comes his friend. Got a big pair of doors. Uh, now they they used those to float across uh, the 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 Rio Irithil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's thinly veiled border patrol. But it's Irithil instead of, you know, Texas or whatever. That's the joke. Do we get it? <laughs> but whose side of the argument am I on? I'm not. I I tell you what. I uh, whoever's got the donuts, that's the side of the argument I'll I'll stick with. Mm -mm, donuts. Gotta love those things. Now, the city of Irithil, they pay me pretty good uh, to be. The border patrol daddy men so anytime I said let's look at right there just send him right back he's fine he's gonna go back across the border where he belongs and now now we're just gonna send this one back uh, and it's you know they're fine they're fine nothing bad happens uh, you know you get a lot of these activists and civil right groups and they watch videos like this where you're chasing one down like a dog and just mercilessly beating it and taunting its corpse and they just get the wrong idea for whatever reason. I, I don't know. 
it's a public image thing, I guess. We'll have to work on it. I mean, I feel like, you know, we're not doing anything wrong. But that'll be it for today. My shift's over. I'm going to head out and go check out that new Michael Bay movie. It's called Me Whipping Ass. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all make sure to come by uh, Pontiff Sullivan. He's throwing a real big gala ball. Uh, come to Pontiff Sullivan's ball. Uh, it's going to be on February 14th. Going to have a real good time.